Well, hello everybody and welcome to another video tutorial. My name is Peter Draglitz. In this simple scene, I have, as you can see, an emitter and I have some particles that are moving along the z-axis, the local z-axis of my emitter in uh, such a way that they have a constant speed. Well, let's say that I wanted to make the speed of, this part of the particles to change with time. How can I achieve it? Well, you can always play around with the random uh, slider over here, but if I scrub the slider here, you can see that my particles start moving at different directions, which of course is something I don't want to happen. All I want is to make them to change their velocity, change their speed, while being constrained in just one uh, direction, one axis. So let me zero this out really quick. Alright, now you can see that my particles are moving in a uniform way. Alright, so again, I want to make them, to, to constrain them, their, their, uh, their, their movement, I want to constrain it uh, along just one axis, let's say the negative z axis here, but at the same time I need to give them uh, a changing speed. So for me to getting this result, all I have to do, and let me stop the animations and split the screen over here and I want to bring a graph editor. Alright, now I want to go to the first frame of my animation by clicking shift left arrow. So I'm on the first frame, at the first frame of my animation. I want to go here to the, let's say, to the axis to, to which I want to constrain the, the movement of my particles and I want to zero this out and I want to right click on this slot here and I want to insert single keyframe. Alright, now I want by pressing shift right arrow to move to the last frame of my animation and I want, of course, to add yet another keyframe by right clicking insert single keyframe. As you can see here over here to, uh, on, the, on the graph editor I have this here, this uh, curve here which is a straight line actually and now if I play the animation you can see that I have something like this. I have particles you know moving in very slowly in a strange manner, whatever. So let me show you this one more time. Now I want to press N on the graph editor and I want to bring the side panel over here and I need to add a modifier from the modifier sub panel here, add a modifier. And I'm selecting noise. Alright, now this is going to be changing the, uh, the you know, the, the, the amount I mean the, the, the value of the speed along the z direction. So now I need to play a little bit around with the scale of the noise and the strength of the noise. So if you remember before I had given to my particles a speed of about minus 15, minus 20. I need to do the same thing right now as you can see on the vertical axis over here. Let me maximize the window. We have a, some values here, so if I give to my noise modifier a, a lowest limit of minus 10, let's say, and a higher limit of minus 10, by, of plus 10, excuse me, by setting the strength accordingly, so something like that. Alright, now I will have a maximum range of 10 plus 10 that makes us 20, you know, uh, units. All right, but now if I play back the animation, you can see that my particles are moving, having changing speeds, but in both directions, which of course is something that I don't want to happen. I need to have for them to have to move in a, a in one direction. All right, so let us now choose the direction to which uh, we need towards which we need our particles to move. Let's say we want to move to the right direction, I mean here, alright, to the negative local z-axis direction. 
This is the arrow showing the positive z-axis, local z-axis direction, so I want them to move to the negative local z-axis. Alright, in order for us to get this result, all we have to do is to go ahead to the modifiers and add yet another modifier, this time a generator modifier. Alright, as you can see, the graph here has changed, but don't worry about that. I'm heading over to the generator sub-panel here and I'm clicking on the additive slot. I need this to, to make it additive. Now I need to go over here to the factor for the, uh, for the x value of the polynomial and I want to set this to zero. Alright, now you can see that the graph has changed. Uh, next step I want to do is to go over, over, over to this uh, value here, the other factor of the polynomial, and I want to uh, give it a value such, in such a way that the whole of curve here, I mean this graph here, has been moved below this green line which represents the value of zero. So I make sure, I'm making sure that I have no positive values, I have just negative values here in my graph, okay? So now let, try, let me try to play back the animation. As you can see now, I have those particles, let me maximize the window. I have particles that are moving in, uh, in, uh, with speeds that, are, that, are, that vary with time, that are changing with time, but at the same time they are moving in only one direction, which of course is something that I wanted to get. So you can always go ahead and, and change the strength, let's say, or the scale. You can minimize the scale of the modifier so you can get some more, you know, uh, interesting results maybe. Alright, something like that. But the important thing is that we can, this in this way, we can uh, have a restricted to one axis only movement of our particles whereas at the same time we can give it to our particles speeds that are changing with time. So that was our tutorial for today. I hope you liked this tutorial and you uh, learned something out of this. So if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe. See you next time with another hopefully interesting topic. Hopefully soon. Other than have fun and goodbye.